I'm Mike and I'll show you how to make dialogue sound better in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. So here we are in the sequence, I've got a bit of video and I've also got some audio I've recorded on this quality microphone and synced up to the camera audio so I've got a quality condenser microphone recording. That is the first step to getting good quality audio. Get yourself a good shotgun mic or condenser microphone, anything that is better than your camera's internal microphone. Assuming you've already done that, I'll show you how to make the dialogue you've recorded sound better with a few simple steps. These are the processes that I apply every time I'm producing a video with dialogue in Premiere Pro. So you've got your video on V1 channel, you've got your audio on the A1 channel. You can actually just drag, you can grab this little bit here and drag this open if you want to see the waveform a little bit clearer. And then I'd suggest going to, into the audio workspace up here. So click audio, it's going to bring you up a mini mixer here with all of your audio channels in focus. Now I can see that my dialogue is on audio one, so I'm looking at a one channel. And at the top here, you'll see just a little tiny triangle here, show, hide, effects, and sends. This is what we want to do, pop this open, and then here where it says FX next to these five little places here, this is where you can insert different effects to improve the quality of the voice. So. Right now it doesn't sound bad, it's just a raw recording from my microphone, let's have a listen. Take part in one of my upcoming audio production. Okay, so that's fine, but it's a little bit quiet if you look at the meters. Passes. I accept a maximum is speaking between minus 15 and minus 12. Now I can definitely increase the amplitude, then I can add a, maybe a little bit of EQ, followed by some dynamics processing. Let me show you those steps, step by step. First of all, I'm going to go into the effect selection, drop it down, amplitude and compression, and I'm going to go for amplify. This will simply maximize the audio a little bit more. So as you can see, I was speaking between minus 15 and minus 12. So I'm going to be pretty conservative here, double click my amplify effect, and I'm going to increase this by 10 dB. Let's play the audio back now. When you put it, by the way, into the left channel, you'll see it automatically makes it 10 dB plus on the right channel as well. This is just a simple gain increase on your recording. So if I close this down now, you should see the meters a little higher. Part in one of my upcoming audio production classes. I accept a maximum of tw And it's actually running a little bit hot. It's, it's a bit too close to zero for my own comfort. 20 students for enrollment every couple of months. If you're in Although saying that it's not peaking, if it was peaking, these two red lights at the top would light up. I'll show you how that would work if I make this same. 15 it'll definitely be rested head over there you go you see if you get you, this is what you don't want red lights up there if you've got that you're peaking so take them down but i think 10 db boost is good enough for me um now this is the next step where i might need to move the amplify down a bit this is where i add a little bit of eq filter and eq parametric equalizer and this is one of my favorite effects to just increase the clarity of the audio that you've recorded uh, so here i can sweep through i can add on some high end and i can take off some low end and i'll show you how i'll do that first I'll take the low end off with a high pass filter, clicking HP there and changing this to be 48 dB slash OCT uh, and that'll make a nice sharp roll off. We're rolling off bass frequencies we don't need. Upcoming audio production classes. I accept a maximum of 20 students. And you notice that the more I move that up, the thinner my voice gets. So I want to just set that at the point where it's starting to get thin and then roll it back. Let's try again. For enrollment every couple of months. If you're interested, head over to MRC. Okay, so around 70 hertz is where I'm going to leave that. Then I'm going to roll up some high end. I'm going to change the shape of this because if I move this up, this is a rather broad curve. So I'm going to change the shape of that curve using this icon. And then I'm going to just roll on a bit of high frequency as well to make it crisp. One of my upcoming audio production classes. I accept a maximum of 20 students. Now you could obviously hear the change. I was doing an extreme example there so you can hear the changes, but you just want a very subtle increase there in the high end. Audio production classes. I accept a maximum of 20 students for enrollment every- And I think that's enough. Now let's look and see if we're picking. Yes, we are. So that's an indication and that will always happen when you increase uh, the decibel level of certain frequencies in EQ. Uh, you're going to increase the overall audio sound. So amplify back into there and I'll take that down by a couple of dB uh, down to 8 dB boost. Let's have a listen. 
upcoming audio production classes. I accept a maximum. Now we're doing nice. We're sitting below zero dB. So next we move on to the wonderful, one of my favorite ever effects in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. It is the Dynamics effect. This is just absolute magic. You can do so much with the Dynamics effect. Uh, and this is the third part in my simple chain. Amplify, EQ, Dynamics. That's all you're gonna need uh, to make dialogue sound better. So inside Dynamics, don't worry about the gate or the expander. We'll maybe cover them another time in a future video. If you're interested, by the way, in what gate and expanders do, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll, I'll cover it in a future video. But for now, we're looking at the compressor and the limiter. First, we're gonna set up the compressor, which will simply compress down the high bits of your voice so that everything is a nice block and it's kind of easier to listen to. We don't want to go too nuts here, so let's start off with a threshold at the default of minus 20. And in order to make the compressor work, we'll need to push the ratio up. At a ratio of one, the compressor will not work. I explain compressors in more detail on other videos in my channel, but for now, we'll just increase this slowly up to a ratio of two and see how that affects things. My upcoming audio production classes. I accept a maximum of 20. You can see that's already really working the compressor quite a bit, even at 1.7. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not even gonna talk about attack and release um, as we'll cover them in another video, but suffice to say, the defaults of one millisecond and 50 milliseconds are absolutely fine for most dialogue cases. Now we're gonna use the limiter as the final icing on the cake. This is the last step in the how to make dialogue sound better video inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So with the limiter, I tick that to enable it and the threshold is minus one. What this means is it will limit your audio so that it cannot go higher than minus one dB. And watch how it works. As I start to increase the makeup gain, which is the amplitude of your signal, after you've finished adding all these processes, you'll see that it'll make it louder and louder until it hits the limit, this red light comes on, and you'll see that the bars will stop here and won't clip into above zero dB. Let me show you how it works. Students for enrollment every couple of months, if you're interested. And there you go, you see that the red light is starting to come on at a makeup gain of 9.8. If I push it any harder, it's gonna distort and sound terrible. Listen to what happens. Head over to mrc.fm slash learn. It's also bringing up a load of my noise floor as well. You're hearing more echo from the studio. So really what you wanna do with this is you wanna set the limiter, minus one dB is a good threshold. Uh, release you can leave right there at 50 milliseconds, but you wanna push the makeup so it's just tickling the red limit and then maybe just drop it down slightly. Like Take this. part in one of my upcoming audio production classes. I accept a maximum of 20 students for enrollment every couple of months. If you're interested, head over to mrc. Okay, so I'm just getting a slight tickle on the red light there when I'm at it. 8 dB makeup, so that is absolutely perfect. And now I really feel like we're ready for prime time with this audio. Uh, so just to give you a before and after, let's first of all listen to what I've just done. Take part in one of my upcoming audio production classes. Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm gonna go through and disable all these effects by clicking the cross through the power button here, and we'll have a listen to the original sound. Take part in one of my upcoming audio production classes. Uh, again, we'll put all the effects on and let's put them on one by one. I accept a maximum of 20 students for enrollment every couple of months. If you're interested, head over to MRC. So it makes the dialogue a lot louder, a lot easier to hear, particularly if you're doing interviews or something of that type. It can really, really help just to follow these steps. Amplify, EQ, Dynamics, Compressor, and Limiter, and you are gonna have better sounding dialogue in just a few minutes inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC.